Hey everybody, Extrasify here. Welcome back to another gold making video and another episode of our 50 run series. The weekly series where we farm a dungeon or raid 50 times. I keep all the rare and expensive loot that I get and I show you guys everything we got every single week. So in today's video we are farming the Magister's Terrace. Now this was requested by a viewer of the channel at sumcaps4492. And he said to do Magister's Terrace, so thank you for the suggestion, some caps. And if you have a dungeon or raid you want to see me do next week, make sure to drop a comment below. So like I said, we did Magister's Terrace 50 times. Let's go over the run itself, and then afterwards we'll jump into all the great loot that I got. So when you're coming over to Farm Magister's Terrace, obviously this is on the Isle of Kualdanas. Now just make sure to go to Shatrath and then take the portal over and it'll be the dungeon on the right side of the island. Make sure to farm it on normal difficulty. If you do farm it on heroic, the last boss has a chance to drop the Swift White Hawk Strider by the way. So if you're here for a mount farm, you can go ahead and do that. But Obviously, you can only farm a heroic once a day, so if you're here to farm for gold and not the mount, make sure to farm it on normal. So aside from that, the run itself is quite easy. You basically just go from start to finish, killing all the mobs that you see, and then at the very end of the dungeon, after you kill the last boss, there is an orb that portals you out of the dungeon. It's a bit quicker than dream walking, so I do recommend using that orb, as it'll make your runs a little bit quicker. But the run itself only takes me about two and a half to maybe three minutes, so it's really nice. The runs are pretty quick. Now, as far as what you're looking for here, you're not really looking for any greens in particular. Besides maybe from like bows, uh, staffs are really good, like weapons um, are really nice. There aren't really any great sets here in particular that are nice, but like I said, the weapons are really nice. Then you're also obviously here for world drops, like the patterns. And you also have a chance for a couple epic world drop weapons, things like that. Wowhead wasn't showing that the Blade of Wizardry has a chance to drop here, which is a weapon that goes for like well over 100,000 gold. So I'm not sure if that one can drop from here, but you never know. So keep your eyes out for all the awesome drops that you can get. Now coming towards the last boss, make sure to kill the last boss before you pull this pack here, as it skips about 30 seconds of dialogue, it makes the runs a bit quicker. So just make sure to kill the last boss and then go after this pack and then it'll make your runs a little bit quicker. So with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the loot that I received from 50 Runs of Magister's Terrace. Real quickly, want to give a big shout out to my affiliate goldcap.com. This website has everything you need for gold guides, pretty much all expansions, cataclysm, classic wow era and retail all sorted in with tons of great guides to look out for as you can see they're all nicely organized here and the website is adding more and more farms every single week if you want to unlock access to the full website just go ahead and click the link in my description hit sign up now and become a member for $9.99 a month or $99.99 a year and i can promise you guys will not regret this absolutely lucrative gold making website to greatly increase your gold making potential all right, so now that we've gone over the run itself, let's go ahead and check out all of the amazing items that I got here. Now, reminder, this again was 50 runs of me keeping every item worth about a thousand gold region wide or more to showcase for you guys. So this is everything that we got that I decided to keep. It may seem pretty good, but man, this this was a rough 50 runs. I'm not going to lie. So I'll firstly go over these Phoenix Hatchlings. These have a small chance to drop off of the last boss. I decided to keep them because, you know, maybe they'll be more expensive on your realm. And they do look pretty cool personally, but they are worth like literally 45 gold on my realm. And I got three of them out of 50 runs. So the drop chance, yeah, not, not great. So I'll quickly just kind of hover over the items here. Nothing too noteworthy here, just items worth about a thousand gold or more. The sets themselves, nothing too great. You have like the cleft hoof, the boulder fist, a couple items from like the consortium set do well, and the astralon do pretty well as well. But no real sets in particular to really look out for in my opinion. 
like I said, this this was a rough 50 runs, I'm not going to lie. And then at, later when I go over the gold value, you will see it was rough. So let's go over these nicer items that I decided to keep that were worth thousands of gold and pretty, pretty good. So in terms of the good weapons, we have this Berserker Axe worth about 2,000 on my realm, 3 to 5k region wide. Looks really cool personally, bit of a unique appearance. We got two of these very nice Drainethist Mallet of the Quick Blades, 4,500 gold on my realm, about 5k region wide. And like I said, they look pretty cool and are once again a unique appearance. So we got two of those. Then we got the Ranger's Recurved Bow of the Fire Flash. This was a really nice find here. It does share some appearances, unfortunately, but the value is about 9k. Although it does have a very low sell rate, so it will be a bit of a harder sell. But I'm okay with waiting for that. And then we got two of these reflective staffs of the Aurora. Now they're actually 20k on my realm at the moment, which is a bit, a bit crazy. I don't think it'll sell for quite that much, although it does look pretty cool. Uh, like I said, we did get two of them. And region wide is about 10 to 11,000 gold and has a 0 0.010 sale rate, which is actually really, really good for transmog. So I was a bit surprised seeing that sale rate. It is a cool looking staff though. I can't lie. I do like that unique look of it. And then as far as the rare or epic world drops, we only got two rare world drops. We didn't even get an epic, unfortunately. So firstly, we got the breastplate of rapid striking. Eh. You know, it, it is what it is. It's worth 2,200 gold, my realm, about 3k region wide. That's, it's all right. Nothing crazy here. And then we got the pauldrons of surging mana. Again, nothing crazy. They do look really cool, but they're just not that rare. They're not that expensive. About a thousand gold on my realm, one to 2,000 region wide. All right, so now that we've gone over the loot itself, let's hover over my pack appraiser add-on and we'll check out all of the value from 50 runs of the good old magister's terrace so as you can see we have a grand total of 83,459 gold in looted item value after 50 runs yikes this may actually be my lowest value of any 50 run that i've done so far 83,000 gold value out, out of 50 runs means that we made like 1,600 gold value per run, which is very, very low to be honest. Obviously, I got very unlucky, didn't get any like epic patterns, epic world drops, any decent blue world drops even, you know. So, I mean, I do think Magister's Terrace has a bit more potential. How much more? I'm not sure. But I definitely would recommend you guys give it a try. Maybe you'll get luckier than me, hopefully. Um, hopefully you don't get as unlucky as I got. But you never know. I do think as far as like I was going over the Wowhead loot tables, I think it has some decent potential. But I don't think it will replace, you know, anything like Sunwell, you know, any of those good dungeon farms from TBC. But it may be a nice one to farm every once in a while and see if you get any good drops. Or maybe if you're just wanting to farm this mount, the Swift White Hawk Strider, you can do your heroic run here and then maybe follow it up with some normal runs just to test your luck and see if you get any good drops. So guys, that's all I've got for you in today's video. Thank you again for watching and thank you Sumcaps for the suggestion. Let me know if you want to see me farm any dungeons or raids in the next video. With that being said, good luck with your auction house sales, and I'll see you guys in the next gold making video.